at creatormix.com, you'll find lots of great royalty-free music you can use in your YouTube videos. So I will show you how to download a track and use it in a YouTube video. You will have no copyright issues once your video is uploaded to YouTube. Go to the website creatormix.com find an album and select a track. Once you've selected the track you'd like to use, you can begin downloading it after you either log in or sign up for your free account. If you already have an account, tap on login. Once you're logged in, you will see this page welcoming you to the service. Tap on home to begin looking through the music library. This is the home page. As you can see, you have free background music for YouTube, TikTok, LinkedIn, and Twitch. Swipe up to scroll down and select an album. You can select an album by tapping on it. Each track has three icons next to it. A download icon, a C with a circle around it, and an icon that lets you share the link for the track that you've selected. When you select a track, you can just tap the play icon to hear a little bit of that track. Tap the download icon shown here. To download a track, just tap the green download button. Read through the information on this screen because it clearly spells out what you can and cannot do with the music. Once you've tapped the download button, tap download once more to begin the download. Your mp3 file will be saved in your default downloads location. Once your track has been downloaded, open the files app and go to your default download location to import the track into your video editor. Locate the track that you just saved to play it inside the files app and make sure it's the right one. Tap on the share icon and choose the video editor you're using from this list. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using LumaFusion. When you tap on your video editor, you should see your current project as it was when you left it and you should be taken to the imported area where you'll find your track. To use your track, Simply long press on it and bring it down into the timeline. Next, scroll to the end of your video to make sure that the audio track is long enough. If it isn't, you can either speed up the video or add another copy of the same track so that the audio track plays for the length of your entire video. I'm going to add a second copy of a track. So once more, you can long press on the track and bring it down into the second audio track. Then, scrub forward to the end of the video clip, split the audio track, at the end of the clip so that it matches up with the end of your video. You can use cross dissolve transitions to quickly fade audio in or out. To fade the music out, just add a cross dissolve transition to the end of the audio track like this. Before you upload your video to YouTube, you have to retrieve the track information from creatormix.com. Go back to the website, locate your selected track, and tap the little C icon shown here for the track that you've downloaded and used. When you do, you'll be presented with this screen, which contains the track information. Tap the copy icon inside the box to copy the track information to the clipboard like this. Once you do, you can close down Safari and open the YouTube app. To upload a video, tap the plus sign and choose Upload Video. Select the video that you just exported, tap on Next, and begin the upload process. First, give your video a title, then tap where it says description, and paste the track information into the video description like this. If you're on an iPad, just tap the paste icon at the top of the keyboard. Once this information is pasted into the description, you can add additional information later. Go ahead and tap on upload to start the upload process. YouTube is checking the video for copyright violations. Pasting that track information inside the description at the time of upload is what will prevent you from getting a copyright claim. Once the upload is finished, under restrictions, you will see none. From this point forward, you can release the video and you should not receive a copyright claim or a copyright strike when you use music from Creator Mix. Music